Welcome to Queensboro's very first ever college completion campaign event. Today you are making Queensboro history. You are putting Queensboro in the middle of a national campaign to encourage students to finish their associate's degrees before they go on to their baccalaureate degrees. And today one of the things we're going to be doing is meeting students, former students, who started their careers at Queensboro and have gone on to glory other places. And I want you to know that a lot of the alumni who couldn't be here today also had amazing uh, stories to tell. Uh, students who couldn't be here started at Queensboro and are now uh, research assistants in Colorado in psychology after finishing a BA at Skidmore. We have one former student who's going to be sitting for his oral comprehensives to take a PhD in history at the University of Albany. We have students who have finished in all kinds of fields and done very well in business fields, in uh, humanities fields, in medical and scientific fields. Queensboro is the place you start, and then you go on to success. And you'll see that when you meet all of the alumni here today. And you're going to be taking your first step by pledging college completion and your commitment to it. I'd like to begin our event by welcoming the president of Queensboro Community College, <laughs> President Diane Call. So again, I want to welcome all of you, students, and our illustrious alums and our wonderful faculty, Dr. Emily Tai, Dr. Petr Savarnos, with Vice President Ellen Hardigan, have really worked, I think, to educate our campus community about the importance of this event. And you are amazing, our students. But I, all, I want you all to leave <laughs> with a degree. <laughs> now, it is, it is true that people who complete a degree make 50% more in income than people who don't. There are lots of reasons to complete a degree, but you have to do it for yourself. And that is an incredible sense of accomplishment and the ability, obviously, to make a difference. I think that's very important to everybody here. You're, you're an amazing group of students. We always know that. And a community college is an important portal to a better life. And one out of every five candidates for a PhD in America, offered, awarded by American universities, one out of five is a community college. So you have no barriers, you have no ceilings that you have to worry about breaking through. You're on a trajectory going up. Someone once said, aim for the moon, because even if you fail, you'll fall with the stars in that, in that orbit. So I know that you're going to be doing great things. You're going to be hearing about people who've been very successful and who can speak to why Queensboro really helped launch them. But each and every one of you will have a great sense of commitment. I applaud that. I think it's amazing. Please know that the faculty of this institution stand by you, with you, to make sure that you have an incredible experience here and a very, very successful life and career, whatever you choose. So thank you for inviting me to be part of this. I have a couple of degrees too, because you never stop at one, you just keep going, it's wonderful. So enjoy the afternoon. I look forward to seeing all of you who have not yet graduated at that wonderful event called graduation, crossing that stage in front of all your family and friends and all of the faculty and staff who really are so very proud of you. So please keep going. Don't ever stop, and don't ever forget Queensboro. I'd like to invite uh, Vice President Ellen Hardigan to say a few words. As Dr. Cole mentioned, and I absolutely uh, concur, uh, I think of Queensboro as uh, the place where your success story begins. So here you are, those of you who are currently enrolled, you're moving on. We do hope that you finish your degree and move on for many other degrees, as Dr. Call indicated. And for those of you who have returned, welcome back. We're delighted to see you. It's always so refreshing and rewarding when uh, alumni come back and they tell us all the great things that they're doing. But so many of them remind us 
And it's so rewarding for us when they say to us, I'm doing well, but I really enjoyed my years at Queensborough. So congratulations to all of you. This is a wonderful event. And yes, Dr. Tai, this is the first annual because there'll be many, many more. And I want to thank you and certainly our president of PTK to please stand up. Because if I have it correct, Dr. Tai and Dr. Savonis, you brought this idea to our attention and we're off and running and we thank you for that. So have a great afternoon. And thank you again for allowing me to be a part of it. Hello, everybody. My name is Lee Kan Chen. I am the current president of PTK, and I am uh, very grateful to have been a part of Queensborough Community College student. And um, it, it came to me that uh, my experience was so good, and I just wanted to share with everybody. And I've met so many supporting professors, administration, administrative, faculty, and students that um, I just want everybody to come together and ask not what the school can do for us, but what we can do for the school. Good afternoon, everybody. I wasn't ready to say anything, but Dr. Tai has such a, she does it all the time. <laughs> Welcome to Queensboro. It's glad to see everybody, friends, new friends, and the um, alumni as you continue to inspire all of us. Good to see you, Dr. Kaur, VP Hartigan. Um, being at Queensboro has been a life-changing experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, this initiative is very important because there are so many advantages in completing your associate's degree. It's numerous. Um, the likelihood of getting a higher paying job is yours. You get to network with a whole lot of people. You get to meet people like me, and I get to meet people like you. And you know, it's, it's very, you see how people have AA by their names, BA, and all those things. It's, it, it gives you that edge for success. And Queensboro is definitely, definitely a catalyst to success. Thank you all for coming on behalf of the Student Government Association. Once again, I welcome everybody. Good luck. OK. I'm going to put aside any prepared notes and just tell you, first of all, I am so honored to be here today. And all I can tell you in regard to Queensboro is that I really believe that if it wasn't for Queensboro, I would never have succeeded in my profession and in business. You know, coming here, everyone in this room happens to be a big fish in a little bowl. I've never seen such a staff that really cares about their students, each and every one. I was here as a night student, and I was able to succeed. And the reason that I'm telling you to really get your degree is because it is the first rung on your ladder of success. You know, you can transfer, you can get your BS, but by having a degree from Queensboro, it really is prestigious. This school is remarkable. And if you hear the stories about what these students who have graduated have been able to succeed, it's amazing. So I thank Queensboro for helping me. And I hope that I see all of you back here. I hope I see you at graduation, getting your degree. And again, never forget where you started. Hello, I cannot begin to tell you that I love Queensborough Community College. I literally tingle. I do, my husband teases me. I tingle when I walk on campus. It's a feeling that started over 20 years ago when I was a student here, and today to literally work, teach, participate in committees alongside of professors who taught me, it's a dream that I never imagined. I also was a night student, and I managed to maintain a family, work, and go to school. I managed to keep... I graduated on the dean's list, 
And that was not without the care, the help, the support of the staff who was teaching here at the time. I left here, I tell everyone I'm a CUNY baby. I left here, I moved on to Queens College. All of my credits transferred. And when I filled out job applications, when it said, do you have a college degree? I was able to say yes. I have an associate's degree from Queensborough Community College. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot stress to you how important that is. While I was continuing for my bachelor's degree, there were other people also looking for jobs, filling out applications, and even though they filled in that they were currently attending a school, it didn't guarantee that they were going to graduate. So when the prospective employer looked at my application, they saw that I was one to succeed, that I took on the role of being a student, and that I completed the task of completing that education, and that I was moving on to the next level, which says to them, well, we can see that she definitely has a mindset for academics, and she's a person who completes what she sets out to do. My faculty members here, who at the time were previous professors of mine, I still kept in touch. I was still on campus. And believe it or not, as I graduated with my bachelor's degree at Queens College, an opportunity came up for me to teach here in the speech department, where I teach now full time, as an adjunct. Why did they take me on? I had a history with the college. I was now completing my second, second degree. That is nothing to be looked at lightly. I was now completing the second level of education, a goal, a bar that I had set for myself, which only meant, well, where else is she going? The fact was I had indeed enrolled in my master's program at Queens College. So Queensboro saw that I had succeeded, graduated on the dean's list. I completed at Queens College, Golden Key Honor Society, and I was accepted and ready to begin in September my master's degree. Queensboro said, yes, by all means, come here and teach as an adjunct. And I did. And upon completing that degree, I still had my comrades. At this point, I was working alongside of the other professors. My degree is in speech language pathology. Well, in the speech department, I was working with other speech language pathologists. Well, what a better avenue for me to do research that I needed for my graduate degree than right here in the department. Getting experience firsthand from professors who were working in the field, teaching in the college in the field, and here I am shadowing them again. Here I am. And today, thanks be to God, today, right where I began, I am here making a difference and loving every moment. My husband teases me. When anyone says, so when do you think you'll retire? He laughs. He says, leave Queensboro, are you kidding? <laughs> he says, she'll leave me first. <laughs> and it's the truth. I walk through the hallways. <laughs> I could visit him when my, we have spring break, right? <laughs> you know, if he wants to move to Florida and retire, I can get a, you know, go down, I can see him. Yes, I definitely can. <laughs> he can come up and visit me. Why not? When I walk across campus, and some of you may know me, my students, I greet them with hugs, with kisses. I've gone to weddings of students of mine. I've gone to baby showers. I am such an intricate part of the lives of the students when they leave. And when I tell them, keep in touch, call me, let me know. When they leave my classes, I say to them, I have office hours. They're not just for current enrolled students in my class. They're for anyone who walks across this campus. I don't care what the course is. If you think I can help you, come see me. And they do. And I love it. I love it. So please, I want you to graduate. I want you to walk away with this experience. And I want to see you one day, even if it's just for a visit, walking across this campus 
and giving someone a hug and saying, I love Queensboro. I tingle when I come here. Thank you. You're gonna hear this a lot, but I love Queensboro. <laughs> no, I love Queensboro to the point, I came to Queensboro in 2004, and literally, I have never left Queensboro. There hasn't been one semester where I've been away from this campus. Um, I started my associate here, and I completed, graduated in 2006. I was a full-time student. I went in the daytime. I took part in every activity on campus. I was part of clubs. I volunteered. I did uh, Queensboro President's Council. And even when they didn't want me at the events, I would come and just stand around, OK? <laughs> I love Queensboro. So after Queensboro, I also went on to pursue a, high, a different degree. I went to Baruch College for business administration, for business. Um, I did a finance and investment bachelor's, and all of my credits transferred when I went to Baruch, okay? <laughs> what I forgot to mention, I graduated Phi Theta Kappa from Queensboro. And like she said, Queensboro, I put it on my resume as well. Even today, I put proud graduate of Queensboro, graduate of Baruch for a bachelor's, and right now I'm back in Baruch for a master's in higher education. Now, the reason why I'm doing a master's in higher education is because of my love for Queensboro. When I completed my bachelor's in finance, I went on to work in Wall Street. Everybody wants to be that successful stockbroker, and that's what I wanted. So I worked on Wall Street for three years, and I was miserable, because it wasn't Queensboro, okay? While I was doing that, Monday through Friday, a nine to five, or eight to five, because we started at 7.30 in the morning, I would come to Queensboro on Saturdays, and I supervised the tutoring center because I couldn't get away from it. So I figured, you know what, if I love this place so much, I should come back and work here. And I came back, I'm now a counselor in the admissions office, and I also tutor and supervise the tutoring center, the student learning center, which you should all visit. Yes. Okay? While I was at Queensboro, I tutored, and tutoring helps. It's not for the people who are failing, it's for the people who want A's. So if you're getting an A minus, go to tutoring for that A, okay? That's all you get in Phi Theta Kappa, and stay there. All right, so how do I want to end this? Remain at Queensboro, complete your degree, go on and do bigger and better things, and then come back and work with us, or you can join the Alumni Association. Okay? Right now, I want to invite Christine Porter, and she's also an alumni and a nursing graduate, and she's also on the alumni cabinet here at Queensboro. Um, I, my name is Christine Porter. Um, I graduated from the nursing department in spring of 2010. Um, just, I might be a little more long-winded, but I'll try and keep it short. Um, I recall the day that I came to Queensboro and I stood in front of the college and I, I was proceeding to submit my applications for enrollment. I was an adult learner. I was not fresh out of high school. I was a married mother of four beautiful children, one of which is here with me today. Um, and I stood in front of the school and I literally, I, I did get goosebumps and I began to well up with tears and I thought, this is, this is it. This is where I'm going to graduate. Um, because all of those previous years, I'd put my life on hold to work full time. And at one point, it was three jobs, seven days a week, with four children and a husband and a relocation to New York City from a, um, an originally um, a small farming town up on the US-Canadian border. So it was quite an adjustment. So I dried my eyes, I went in, and I was proud because I knew that I was embarking upon a journey that was to begin the rest of my life. I started with my prerequisites, and I thought, surely, I was going to die. Um, <laughs> when we dissected the cat, that was truly um, uh, 
altering <laughs> my morality a little bit, but Baxter did just fine, and, and I did well. Um, I applied to the nursing program, which I'm not sure many of you know, but only one out of every 10 applicants gets accepted into the nursing department. And Queensboro has one of the best reputations in New York State for producing some of the best nurses. I have goosebumps right now. <laughs> um, but I recall the day um, I stalked the nursing office and begged and pleaded with her um, to tell me if I, I was accepted. She secretly whispered in the phone and said, if you tell anyone, I know where you live. Um, <laughs> I sat down in the privacy of my room and I cried for about 20 minutes because here was my dream. And I know as children we all have dreams about fairy tales and wishes and hopes. And this, this truly was one of my dreams, not just for myself, but also my children. Because I wanted to show them that education is important. And I could only teach them this. Don't make me cry. Um, <laughs> I won't look at her. Um, by setting the example myself. Because one of the things I pride, my, pride myself in is, is being a good parent. So I proceeded with the program, and I met some amazing instructors who really taught me how to be a fabulous nurse and also a fabulous person. Um, I got to meet more than just the nursing department. I got to branch out into the administrative offices. And um, in my final semester, I was president of the Student Nursing Association. And I'm a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I was on the dean's honors list. and. Um, just before graduation, I tore my ACL in my knee, which I was strictly supposed to be on bed rest at home. But it was so important for me to make that graduation because this was the realization of my dream. I hobbled across that stage. I left the crutches at home. I took the Motrin. My sash was falling. I didn't care because the minute they put that in my hand, it was, it was truly the realization of something important. <clears throat> I have proceeded on um, to take my boards. I'm now a registered nurse in the neonatal intensive care unit um, for North Shore LIJ, which is a very difficult position to, to secure. But truly, Queensboro was part of the reason why I got the job, because the manager of the neonatal ICU is a Queensboro graduate. <clears throat> keep shoving Queensboro graduates at her and she hires one pretty much every um, every round. We, we, we have a connection at LAJ now. So, <laughs> um, I am currently um, back to school through SUNY Empire State, which is a distance learning program through the State University of New York, um, which does take all of the transfer credits from Queensboro Community College. Um, I chose that avenue because I like the computer and I like to still devote my time to the institution here. I'm on the alumni board and I strongly recommend everybody sign up for their um, alumni association membership because there are really a lot of different um, avenues you can explore and, and it keeps you connected. Um, <clears throat> My future plans, I will complete my bachelor's degree and hopefully do go on to, um, well, it will go on to um, achieve my master's degree in, in education so that I can teach nursing students the way I was taught. Um, and finally, as a Queensboro graduate, we, myself and um, a couple of other nursing students, we've started our own little nursing group slash organization called Healing Hands. And we are currently planning a trip to Tanzania, Africa to do missionary work in the spring. And we're representing um, Queensboro in the nursing department, um, which we're very proud of. What I will say to each of you is you're going to, to encounter hurdles. You're going to encounter times and periods in your life where you feel like just tossing the books down, throwing in the towel, and saying, I've had enough. I can't do this. I'm frustrated. What I tell you is um, Professor Tarasco, one of the nursing professors, taught us how to deep breathe and relax. Mm -hmm. And um, really, when I took my boards, that was very important. <clears throat> but don't give up. Don't stop. Because if you, if you give in to not completing and not dedicating yourself to the education that you deserve, you're, you're only failing yourself. There's nothing worth, and nothing worth more than um, the pride that you have in yourself and the education you receive. And um, <clears throat> I just, I want you all to know that I 
continually come back to Queensboro because this is home. And I tell everybody this is home. I don't feel the same connection with my new school. I, they haven't gotten rid of me yet. I'm still stalking the campus, and I continue to do so for a very long time. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Most of you might know me. My name is Andre Smitten. I, am, I do a lot of tutoring here in Queensborough Community College, and presently I am tutoring in the Learning Center. My time here at Queensborough, I will tell you, has been wonderful. I enjoyed every moment of it. I came here in August 2009, and I, from Jamaica, and I came on the campus, August, I came August 12, 2009, and the next day, I was on the campus, August 13, 2009. And that was the first day I actually met my first professor for my first class, Professor Zavornos. And from then on, I have always loved Queensborough. I have got, in my first semester, I got involved in tutoring. I got involved in research. I got involved in opportunities that I never thought I could ever be able to do. All those things where I saw the, the men on the TV in their lab coats doing stuff people teaching, I never saw myself as that. I only imagined it as a dream. But then I got involved, and I am very appreciative that I got involved here at Queensborough Community College. And so I encourage every one of you to stay with Queensborough Community College and graduate, right, because it is only a benefit. And another thing, join Phi Theta Kappa. I am always encouraging students to do it, right? It's not that hard. All you gotta do is set your mind to it and be a part of it. Um, and I'd just like to say, Keep on pressing to the mark. I'm now at City College studying chemical engineering. And and based on my based on my how I've done at Queensborough Community College, I graduated here with a 3.93 GPA, which is And I've got in touch with an organic chemistry professor. In my class, there's 140 students. And no, normally, professors do not re know students if there's a 140 students in their class. And for my benefit, the professor knows my full name, Andre Smitten, so she can spot me out in the crowd. I am very grateful for that, for that. And I believe that would not have been possible if I was not effective here at Queensborough College and gotten the education I deserved. Thank you very much. And um, two years after I did. And 
We have a responsibility, not just as students, not just as alumnus, alumni. We have a responsibility because we're going out into the real world. We're going out and we have to show that we complete what we start. An associate's degree from Queensborough Community College is nothing to laugh at. It's nothing to just turn your head at. This is a degree that shows that you've come from an institution that is about success. It's about moving forward. It's also about returning home. Welcome back, most of the alumnus, alumni here. Queensboro Community College is a place where you don't just learn, you experience and you grow. I can go on for the commercial for QCC all night, but I won't. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the opportunities that were bestowed upon myself. At this school, I studied performance and fine arts in the uh, humanities building. And as a music major, you know, you pretty much spend all of your time in that music building. You look, you look around like, sciences, what is that? Science? Math? No. <laughs> Instead, in the, in the humanities building, we, we were offered the chance to work with world-renowned musicians. Not just people who were, 
who had a career and are now visiting, but we got workshops from people that are in the field. We got to work with Wycliffe Gordon, um, international trombone superstar who performs regularly at Jazz at Lincoln Center and Dizzy's Coca-Cola Club in Manhattan, for those of you who don't know. We got to work with, I got to work with the Ebony String Quartet, which is an international quartet of young musicians, and I was very lucky that I composed four pieces for them, and they performed them, we recorded it, it was a fun time. I can go on with that also, with all the opportunities in the music business that we had here. We have a, there is a crazy, a, a, a amazing staff, faculty and staff here at the school. It's not just you know, professors that you'll find. Some places, professors are there just for the health insurance. You know, they're there for the benefits. Queensboro, I have found that every professor knows my name. I know their name. I'm not a number, and they really love not just teaching, but they love to see their students move on. They love to see them come back. I'm going to go visit a few people today, whether they like it or not. So, <laughs> um, Upon, upon completing the music courses, the performance and fine arts courses here at Queensborough Community College, a lot of people started to uh, ask me, well, I'm at uh, Queens College right now, uh, doing the bachelor's slash master's for music education. I hope to be a teacher or an educator, as it is. Um, they asked me, oh, what did you do at Queensborough? And I let my resume do the talking. I put down each thing that we did here. It's all documented on Tiger Media. You can find it. <laughs> um, all the videos are there. There's proof. I think my hair was slightly shorter at the time. I don't know. <laughs> um, bottom line is, from everything that I took part in, Phi Theta Kappa, from the extracurricular activities, performing at the student union, going to events I wasn't even invited to, going to all these places, donning this pin, the Phi Theta Kappa pin that I'm asked about everywhere I go. People were like, oh, are you in a frat? They usually get more of an earful than what you guys are getting now. Um, I tell them all about it. But that resume that shows everything I did gave me the opportunity uh, earlier this year. Um, I actually, and uh, you know, take it as you will, I actually took this semester off from Queens College because they saw, uh, the specific person saw what kind of resume I had made over here at Queensboro and how I had started my own band and the compositions and the accomplishments and the performances that I was invited to via the wonderful professors here. And they offered me a chance to tour all around the world to play, to learn new business, to learn new music since June. <laughs> since June, I have been very thankful to play in four, four different countries at like six different hard rock cafes everywhere and it literally started here at Queensboro. I am not a young guy. I'm something <clears throat> years old and <laughs> um, I didn't come out of high school here. I came here to learn. Uh, I overcame a lot of stuff and it was through the help of wonderful people like VP Hardigan, Dr. Ty, um, just to name two of the wonderful people who I've spent more time in their office than sometimes in my previous classrooms. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Ty does give wonderful cookies and has tea at all times. <laughs> um, everything I learned from here has not just propelled me, but it has jettisoned me into more and more experiences, more knowledge that I will come back here and remind everybody of, and I'll take with me as I complete my trek through academia, and I go on from bachelor's to master's to doctoral to hopefully teaching here or maybe starting another school. But um, you know, with everything, with everything said and done, I know there's all this media going on right now, all this strife going on in, in Manhattan. Here's a lesson, here's a statement. Occupy the classroom. That's the first thing you should do, and really stick with it. I said we have a responsibility, and I mean that. We truly do have a responsibility. We have the gift of communication. No other species on the planet does it like we do. We have to take that forward. And I remember when I first came to QCC, and I took a walk by like the other offices, I'm like, wow, this campus is really pretty. By the time I left QCC, I realized this campus is beautiful. Thank you for your time. Uh, OK. First, I want to say that I got married and I changed my name. So I'm <laughs> not any longer Bidnatic, I'm Pitts right now. Everyone 
here says how much they loved or love being QCC, but it's not the case with me. I didn't want to go here. I, um, uh, Queens Borough Community College was not even a choice on my list of colleges I wanted to go to. Um, I started my college education in Poland, and after I completed my first year, I moved to New York City, and I was planning to transfer I'm sorry, I was planning to transfer to Queen's College to uh, study linguistics. But because of some very serious uh, differences between Polish and American education, uh, the admission center made my GPA drop from 2.5 to 1.14, making it just impossible to get to any CUNY college. So um, I was frustrated. I was walking from colleges to colleges, uh, visiting people and trying to explain my situation, but nobody seemed to understand. And um, thankfully, thanks to the um, admission director here at Queensborough Community College, who understood my situation, I got accepted here on probation. Um, so I was thinking that since I was already in a system, in a CUNY system, I would just finish my first year and then I would go and uh, uh, transfer to Queen's College to continue my education in linguistic. I just thought that being here was just a waste of time because I really, I, there were no classes offered in, uh, in the field of my, uh, of my interest. Um, but because of my um, status as international student, I realized that it was much cheaper to complete my degree at uh, Queensborough Community College and then transfer. And um, actually, in 2008, I um, graduated from uh, Queensborough Community College with associate, and I'm really glad I did. Um, during my last semester, I took two classes that completely changed my path. I took a class in anthropology and uh, women in history. Uh, that because of them, right now, I just I received a um, BA degree in um, anthropology with honors, and right now and I'm in the process of applying to PhD programs in gender archaeology. Because of those two classes, um, because of those two classes, because of anthropology and uh, women in history, I realized that um, studying English uh, to be a teacher is a second language um, was just highly influenced by the job market in my country. Uh, when I got accepted to Queen's College, I, um, I, init I initially tried to connect linguistic and archaeology. So I went to a teacher who's a, a professional in uh, linguistic anthropology, and after I presented my plans, what I wanted to do in my, um, in my career, she said I was just too specific for an undergraduate student. And you know what, I think it's a great advice. I think that you should experiment with classes while you're here at Queens Borough Community College. But um, it was not a great advice to me, because I already took 60 credits in my associate degree, and um, I believe that I already defined my interest. Um, I believe that this experimentation that I undertook here at Queensborough Community College prevented me from changing and redefining my majors at senior college. And um, although I did narrow down my interest to gender in, um, in Mesoamerican archaeology, I have felt very confident in the directions I wanted to take in my life and my career. Um, I was invited to here to tell you how associate degree helped me with my career and my with my interest. And um, I believe that it had a critical influence on um, what I wanted to do in my life. Uh, because I was able to experiment with classes, I had been able to define my interests and professional plans. I had met incredible people who um, have guided me through my research and my studies, and one of them is Professor Emily Tai, that because of Because of her, um, of her help and uh, her passion, I could really develop my interest in gender studies. And 
Honestly, I do blame my associate degree from Queensborough Community College for being just a little too specific for an undergraduate student. Thank you. I'm sitting and I'm listening to the stories and I'm actually reflecting upon my own experience when I first started here at Queensborough. I came to college not knowing where I was going to end up, what, what school I was going to go to. I had no idea what the college was about. This was chosen for me by someone. So I started off, and I remember the first day I started on campus, I said, oh my god, this is so huge, I'm going to get lost, I will never survive this. And I remember sitting in the quad, the very first day of class, as grown as I am, I came to college as an adult, and I started to cry. And I got on the payphone, and I called home, and I said, I want to come home right now. This is not going to work for me. And I started to walk around the campus. And one thing I noticed as I walked around is that there's always a smile. There's always a, a happy person. There's always, a pos there's always positive energy in every corner you turn. And I started to take that and grow with it. And what, what I'm trying to say is that as much as my heart was a little bit heavy because this was all new to me, I started to network. I started to walk around. I started to get involved. And I listened to everyone saying, you got to get involved. You got to get involved. Believe you me, if you want to survive in college, you have to get involved. And I kept hearing the word, you have to network. You have to network. And I did volunteer a lot on campus. But more importantly, one of the things that I walked away with from Queensborough is the respect. I love the respect that is given on campus from faculty and students for each other. And that has been my motive. And I'm here back at Queensborough. I also graduated from Baruch. I was part of the President's Council, the Trimble Club, everything you could think about. And I'm actually, I'm actually in the process of doing my application to go back to grad school. Um, I'm hoping that works out for me. But um, one of the things that I want to tell you guys is the most rewarding thing is to finish your degree here. This is where I grew. This is, what, this is where it allowed me to develop to be the person I am. And one of the most rewarding things is I'm here at Queen's Bar dealing with all the brand new freshmen. And I look at them and I see, I look at their faces and I see, oh my god, I, I'm not going to make it. And I am here to give them that inspiration. And I know everyone has a different story. And I just want to share something quickly with you. A couple of weeks ago, a young lady walked into my office and she started to cry. And the reason she was crying is because she didn't want to come to Queensborough Community College because she was told it's a community college. And all her cousins were going to NYU and she cried so much till she went into a panic attack. And I had to, I, 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 was, I was lost for words. I, I, for the first time in my job, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this student? And I calmed her down and I sat with her and we spoke and I chatted with her and I shared my experience and I had, you know, I listened to her. By the time she left the office, she said to me, she said, I think it's going to be okay. And that felt really good because now I know she wanted to stay and finish because I assured her, once you finish with your associate degree, we are going to make that transfer process seamless for you. We're going to make that experience worthwhile. So it's just one of the few things that I wanted to say. Um, as I said, this was a little bit unprepared. But um, I wish all of you here at Queensborough success. I, I guarantee you, you're not going to get this experience anywhere. I went to Baruch and I came back to Queensborough and I never left Queensborough. I was in every single event, even if I was not invited, as someone said before. And it has been the most rewarding experience as an adult and as a female. Thank you.
I'm like, you know what, I have to talk about my first semester here. It was, well, when I came here, they, the college was offering a program, um, basic skill and history. Usually, when you talk about the educator, educators, they refer to it as a cross curriculum. My own version of it is Triangle Bermuda. If anyone knows about the myth, um, the story behind it, the myth goes that anything that goes through it or above it, it just sinks and goes deep, deep, deep inside, and they can't find anything about it. So I feel like that's what happened to me. I came here. I wasn't really like I had no idea how college worked. I was thinking my teachers probably gonna have hair like ass time. <laughs> Like, oh, and 
everyone, all my friends, my best friends know that I'm like I'm thinking about them tomorrow. And actually, a few of them, anyway, I post them because they didn't want to really come here in the beginning. They didn't know about the school, about the programs. I'm like, you have to go. And they all came here. They were being the member of community college, and they all actually the best experience I ever had. The pledges are the, the, the paper document that you find on your seats. We have uh, supplied you with the pledge and a pen to write to pledge. So if everybody can pledge to complete um, an associate's degree here at Queensborough Community College, and when you go out, you, we will be giving you a button that says, I'm committed. And um, everybody can go outside and enjoy some refreshments. And thank you for coming.